today I'm going to show you a few new rhythms on the rhythm bones. In order to play these rhythms, you have to know how to play triplet. So if you have not yet learned the triplet, I made a video on how to play triplet. Go check that out and work that out and then come back to this one. So the first rhythm we're going to work on today is called the walk. The second, the trot. The third one, the gallop. And I gave these rhythms these names because the sound of the bones reminds me of a horse's hooves. So the walk is the first one, and these are ideas that you can use while you're playing um, and, and looking to develop your rhythms. Um, the first one is very simple, the walk. And we're going to play on beats one and three with the left hand, with a simple forward whip like this. For beats two and four, we're going to play the same forward whip um, with the right hand. And that's going to be sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The second rhythm is called trotting, and for that one, we're gonna do the same thing in the left hand. Beats one and three are gonna be playing a simple forward whip like this. For beat two in the right hand, we're gonna play a forward whip, but for beat number four, we're gonna do a backward couplet, and that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, and 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 So, the next rhythm is called galloping. And for galloping, we're going to be playing a triplet on beats two and four. And that's going to sound like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Two, and three, So I want to give you guys the opportunity to hear what this sounds like to music. So I'm going to play a song from one of my favorite albums to practice bones to, Three Forks of Beauty by Matt Brown, and the album is called Lone Prairie. Here's Walking First. And now we're going to do Trotting. Here's galloping. And now I'm just gonna put them all together. So these are just ideas that you can use while you're playing bones with, um, with banjo players, with fiddle players, or even to music on the radio. Um, and if you practice these rhythms, you're going to get really, really good pretty pretty fast at the forward whip and the, and the backward whip. And that's going to make your triplet sound better. With As with all bones rhythms, I recommend that you learn the mirror image of them. So in this exercise, we're playing on the one and the three with the left hand and the two and the four with the right hand for, for uh, walking. I, I recommend that you get good at, at doing the opposite too. So one and three on the right hand, and two and four on the left hand, and for trotting and galloping as well. Um, the better you get at playing mirror images, the stronger your, 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 your um, playing is going to be all around, and your ability to improvise as well. Um, so there you go, walking trotting, galloping, um, work on those. Um, the great thing about these exercises is that you can add variations to them. So for trotting, for example, if you're doing uh, there's a lot that you can kind of add to spice it up. Uh, for example, you can do And there's just like a lot of little things that you can do to, uh, to keep it interesting. Um, so these are just kind of basic ideas for you to, to build your rhythms from and make things up and have fun, interchanging them and adding new things. Um, for practice tips, I really recommend that you practice bones with the music 
and also without the music. So do this exercise really slow if you need to. Because sometimes, you know, playing bones can make your brain hurt. <laughs> um, and also slow things down if you need to. Slow things, slow things down as much as you need to. Count along with the rhythms if you need to. Um, I, I included all the, all the, the rhythms and the beats earlier. Um, and just repeat, just repeat this thing a lot. Just keep on practicing it a lot and you'll get really, really good. Um, so happy practicing. And let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything that I can clarify. And have fun.